And Joseph, that's just a great example of so many events and, and so many things being canceled this weekend just because the best place to be is wherever it's cool and there's shade and water. Yes, that's exactly right. Be safe. I mean, we got to be smart right now. This is temperatures that we've never felt before. And do we barely ever get into the triple digits? And when we do, we know that we have to be real careful out there. So being inside, finding shade, staying hydrated, checking on family and friends. Uh, you know the safety list. We'll look at that here in just one second. We had some new records today. This is just the record for today. Now, we've also had some all-time record highs. We've also had some all-time records for the month of June. But this is the record for just today. You see Portland, uh, we hit 108. The previous record was 102. 2006 was very popular. That was a very warm time uh, for that uh, for this date. And in fact, all the previous records were in 2006. Vancouver breaking that record 105. Hillsborough 105. Troutdale 109 today. In Salem also 105. You can see the highs here up and down uh, the Willamette Valley. Some 70s and 80s there along the Oregon coast. 60s for the central Oregon coast. You had to go there. If you wanted to stay cool, 110 coming out of the Dalles and Pendleton 104. Safety headlines here, as I mentioned. Try to stay cool, be hydrated, get the shade, you know, water, water, water. We can't stress that enough. I, again, you want to check on your family, your friends, neighbors, and of course, make sure you get the pets uh, nice and cool as well. I do want to stress that tomorrow, you know, we're going to see some very extreme heat. We're going to spend many hours. Busy graphic here, but see, at 100 degrees tomorrow, I think we're going to be about 8 to 9 hours sitting at that. I think it's going to happen about noon to 9 p.m. Today, it was about 5 hours. You can see 90 degrees there at 13 hours, 80 uh, degrees there, about 15 hours of the day. A very small window tomorrow where we're below 80. We have this dome of heat here. It sticks around extreme heat up and down, specifically here in the Pacific Northwest. And then we see it kind of cool down maybe into Tuesday. But I'm talking about maybe upper 90s, about a 10 degree drop off. We get to Wednesday, maybe to about the lower 90s. The Oregon coast is going to be the place to stay cool. You can see that northwest flow there. Newport 61, Florence 61. So that's where you got to head. Uh, if you want to try to find some colder air, as I mentioned, seaside, beautiful view. We had a lot of folks out there today. It was nice and warm. This is Lincoln City looking over to the north there. At one point in time, they had a little bit of uh, cloud coverage there that was just squashed into the distance. Portland, we have a nice clear sky in the Dalles. The same where it was a bit breezy at times, too, but really not much cloud coverage and no rain. We're not dealing with any sort of rain right now. We need all the rain we can get, and there's none in the forecast. Tomorrow, I think we're about 110 and above. The gorge about the same. I think the north coast, the north Oregon coast tomorrow may also be about 90 degrees. So very warm there from Astoria down through Seaside if you are planning to go there. Again, the coldest air across the state is going to be hugging the central and southern coast. All right, seven-day forecast. I have 111 tomorrow. Might even get hotter than that. Again, on Monday, uh, we had the all-time record today, Wayne. I think we break it tomorrow, maybe even on Monday. 97 on Tuesday, again, uh, we do drop off a little bit to the lower 90s by Wednesday, Wayne, but even the overnight temperature is going to be close to maybe upper 70s uh, uh, heading into Monday morning and maybe even tomorrow morning. Yeah, these are the times when we all need to take care of each other. I mean, this is just unprecedented in so many ways.